Hey, welcome back again to new video guys. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Sam Fix YouTube channel and this is Poco F3 or the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews back with new video guys. This is Oxygen OS video and this is the quick settings toggles and this is home settings and all. Let's start away with this one about device you can see Oxygen OS 14.0.1 by Dell schools very much thankful to him he brought this update very fast to me 11 x days really really good i will be appreciated for his work definitely and there are some peculiar cons and some uh, thing you will make it uh, difficult to use this rom but overall it's a very good rom i'll be explaining each and everything in this video stay tuned till the end of the video if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon without wasting any time let's begin the video here the version oxygen is 14.0.1 you can see official version android version 14 here you guys can see 5th may 2024 is the security patch and you can see ram and photography and view those things will be not much included with us but processor and all you can see my variant is 128 8gb variant if you have other comment down in the comment section again this is the version this is settings panel and all we'll be speaking everything first but first my users need to know these scores will show that and later i'll show you because some people only watch this and go away hence i will show this 7 lakh 90 thousand 132 is the score good thing is they are not showing temperature raise and battery percentage drop here anyhow this is the version i am using 10.2.8 and this is the geekbench score 1130 and 3151 multi score and 14 links 4.19.246 no kernel has been used this is basic integrity and status profile getting passed here and the play store is also certified as you can see you can use all the payment applications that is going to work flawlessly in this particular rom and this is regarding drm information 60 120 hz and one hdr10 support is there level one certified watching ott application is also not a problem in this particular rom these are read write speed test they are really good compared to miui or hyper OS. these are really good in my opinion and this is lock screen while charging as you can see around 343 it was 60 8 percent around 353 it is 90 percent hence 33 watt charging support is there here and this is quick settings toggle i am using uh, geo true 5g as you can see it's working fine that's the speed what i got with 5g internet 230 mbps geo i am using i don't have any other sims network and yeah i will test with wi-fi now once yeah there are some cons i will be explaining them we'll be testing with wi-fi now we'll be stay down stay tuned here as you can see and this is how the quick settings toggles as you can see in the edit section sorry this is the speed what i got with wi-fi connection i have 200 mbps wi-fi airtel fiber connection it's pulling up to 200 that's how it is and these are the quick settings toggles everything is working fine here mobile data and all 5g is working fine for me You'll get that speed means i don't say it's uh, like that uh, it'll be balanced for this use it's okay but for if you compare with other devices uh, with number of 5g bands or more it will be definitely lagging behind with this smartphone not with this rom it with every other roms too yeah straight away go into those only regarding that as you can see direct video call feature is available here and yeah the touch response is not that good as you can see there's one more bug i can say you already waited for six hours still as you can see the bug is still going to continue like this i can't able to call the number here this is a big thing because many users want to make a call in daily driver as you can see it's not able to make a call here and major thing and more thing is i'll show you the bugs that is uh, regarding additional settings gestures and motions no not that this one gestures if i go here learn gestures back to previous working fine if i go to next option as you can see swipe left from the right side i am swiping from four hours now it's not going to happen okay that's okay this one view recent task here it is also not happening 
okay at least this one happening switch between apps no all these things are not working in this particular room i don't know what's the intention to release this early yes i do appreciate releasing this room but this would have been fixed but i don't know why this is happening like this this is all the options you get it if you go into buttons it will work fine now no what is this gestures are more better than this yeah yeah this is much better now anyhow this is the one thing i haven't uh, good with this from again you get all these options like language and regions and accessibility menu assistive ball feature all those things are given screenshot you get plenty of options here too coming to some other settings i'll show you but all the things you get special features you get all these options those are working fine i haven't faced any issues regarding that smart slide bar you get it for example this is the one what we'll do one thing yeah why isn't this working once i'll reboot it we'll see will it work or not even while unlocking the device is also a little bit a problem here as you can see even if you apply for multiple times the pattern it will take some time to unlock yeah now it's got unlocked that's the wait time you should be aware of and camera application you get some lmc camera here more settings yeah ui is not that smooth guys as you can see lmc camera by Astley. that's fine uh, but ui if i can't go to the main screen and switching between the maps and right swipe is not working what is the use of using it as a daily driver that's my complaint and again if you have any specific questions and all if you are already using this rom comment down in the comment section maybe i might be wrong sometimes special features i was finding them where is these options actually button free mode and see minus this here it is working like this but why it is not working i don't know gestures and motions screen of gestures and ai gestures why oh, i want this I don't want it anyhow these are the things and in the display again you get all this dark mode has been improved yes as you can see and switch to light mode again and again screen color mode here also for some reason i pressed brilliant it's not coming out of it as you can see switch as you can see see the touch response in this ui we will no that's not going to work here anyhow uh and the screen color mode display size if that is fine again screen resolution will i change it to standard again yeah now will it work everything fine yeah it is now working fine so that's the problem guys now i can able to see the recent apps also so don't use the this one whatever the resolution in the display see if you use it you'll come to know all these things i'm not complaining anyone or anything like that for some reason i opted out this high resolution may because of that this is happening so i try to found some notes also hence uh, that shouldn't be happen and uh, this how the interface now it is working fine guys and dark mode as i shown already it's really really cool and it's really good guys don't turn this on that's my sincere request to you guys this one screen resolution to high don't turn this on and again let's change these things screen color mode now go to vivid yeah it's now smoother as you can see see the smoothness in the ui that should be there but just turning on this one option everything has been ruined and screen refresh rate you get standard and higher per app refresh rate is also given you can select them out 
and notification status bar again you get all these options here status bar smart suggestions and all let's see the lock screen again if it takes several minutes no it's quick because of that high resolution all these bugs have been introduced by myself not with anyone here it's been clear that i'm saying this and again you get all the necessary options like wallpapers and style like wallpapers you get all the necessary wallpapers whatever you get it in the other oneplus devices and realme devices based on oxygen os sorry 12 yeah and this is how guys you get all these options and font you get all the necessary options to change and increase them those things are also given icons again you get these options or redesigned ui you get all these options you can change them colors and other things you can actually change them edge lighting and all there and work life balance 2.0 is also there here that's also going to make difference and canvas always on display 2.0 let's check the always on display whether it is there or not nature tone display no it should be somewhere here I think the video length is a little bit bigger but I have to guess once you want to use it as a deleter you need to check these uh, things notification status bar I already explained these things smart suggestions and all you will get it security and privacy they have mentioned that face unlock and uh, fingerprint unlock will not work app lock is given though this is the settings and this is all the apps currently I am using and photos app is also given you get some basic stuff like editing and all as you can see and this one now will it work yeah smart assistant this how it is you can actually have some recent files from here as you can see this is cool thing it will be a handy feature like accessibility menu in uh, google devices and all apps also you can access from here as you can see really good i really liking this it will be always on the right swipe here and camera i already explained to you it's fine if you want anything advanced you can use gcam also but this gcam is also almost good in the video more again to get 4k 60 option what else you need isn't it yeah that's fine in my opinion again ua is really really smooth my files you get a file manager and see the animations and all it's as smooth as uh, oneplus device guys ported from tolar and that's it i hope everything explained here let's see the bgm how it handled in this particular rom and regarding gameplay like bgm you guys can see smooth plus extreme plus options are enabled here let's check out and it is good guys uh, You guys can see even in the counter attacks it is actually fine as you can see these stereo speakers are also working fine Dolby Atmos not here in the game it's not supported the BGM in the PUBG Mobile, it is supported Dolby Atmos. Yeah, that's the gaming experience. I'll come back here. And majorly, the Oxygen OS 14, this is based on Android 14. Here you get updated user design, I mean user interface, as you can see this quick settings and this home screen icons and all it has been updated redesigned i mean refreshed the design with smoother animations new icons and improved accessibility feature what i said this as you can see performance enhancement like better optimization for better app loading times as you can see that optimizations are there here in the oxygen OS 14 
This is the latest version of custom Android based operating system developed by OnePlus. It brings several new features guys and one of them is again privacy and security is also enhanced that we are not going to see in this device because it's a ported ROM and customization options like themes, wallpapers and always on display. Let's check that always on display. At that time I can't able to see that. Mm, yeah, here it is. Let's turn this on. These new features you guys can see again you get all these options notifications and all really cool guys I'll apply this one okay also you get some colors to this clock yeah this will match it let's see that will be always on display yeah double tap is working fine here yeah that's how the always on display Anyhow, the fingerprint and face unlock will not be there that they have mentioned straight away. That's always been a thing in Oxygen OS and all. This are some improvements what we can see in the Oxygen OS 14 that's present in this particular ROM guys. I'm really happy with this particular ROM just with my mistake of touching that to high resolution. I thought it's bugs but there are no peculiar bugs you can use it as a deleter i should recommend it as a priority that if you are looking for any stable different rom then this is the one for you guys it's very much stable and uh, good to use it as a deleter now we can make a call also as you can see and that will announce the other person that's a basic google dialer again and you also get this game space here agree and continue as you can see i would have started this before itself while playing again you'll get all these options here settings and all cool guys really cool ui for me 11x or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section hope so i have explained all these things battery life again guys in the oxygen os 14 this is one more important thing the battery life is great here and I have noticing the same. It takes some more days to check it out. But initial impressions, that is good. 5G is working fine. Everything is working fine. That's it. This is Sampath signing off. We'll meet you with another interesting video, guys. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now.